All right, third, term, third time is a charm. <laughs> we're going to get this right, you guys. I'm not real sure why we're having technical difficulties today, but uh, you know what? That's just how we roll sometimes. So listen, thanks so much for joining us. Welcome to Wellness Wednesdays and our Euphoria Testimonials group. We've got a great call lined up for you today. As you are coming in, feel free to type into the chat box. Let us know where you're tuning in from. We're going to give it just about a minute. Let everybody come in here. And once again, I want to welcome you. Looks like we have David Edmonds is watching all the way from the UK. Hello, David. Hey, Amy. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Good to have you on the call today. It looks like Kelly is with us as well. Hey, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. And once again, I want to welcome everybody to Wellness Wednesdays. We have a great call in store for you today. And hopefully we've got all the bugs worked out. You guys are hearing us okay. Uh, if somebody would give me just a thumbs up, let me know that you're hearing us loud and clear without a uh, little any background noise. That would be great. And we are going to go ahead and bring on our special guest here in just a moment. Let's see if we can get Brett on the line. Hey, Carrie, thanks so much for tuning in. Good to have you here. Welcome, welcome. And we are adding Mr. Brett Halls as we speak. And once again, I want to uh, welcome you to Wellness Wednesdays. All right, Brett, we're going to try this. Third time is a charm. I think I think I got it. I think I got All it. Right. But you know what? I'm just going to hold my phone. So apologies for any shakiness. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is total renegade styles. We're 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 live as as live could be. So <laughs> I love it. You know what? Well, it sounds perfect now, and uh, I appreciate you being here with us. And I was just sharing with our listeners, we've got people that are tuning in from the UK. Looks like Carrie Bonesteel is here. David Edmonds is here as well. Hey, Mark. Mark Klanick is on as well. Uh, listen, the purpose of this weekly live is we just want to focus on bringing value to our community. We want to focus on, we're going to be choosing various topics that are focused in uh, around DNA nutrition and outside of DNA nutrition. So mm -hmm. each week you can count on something of value. Um, and uh, I'm very, very excited to be joined by Brett Haas. And I'm going to share just a little bit of Brett's background, but welcome, Brett. How are you doing today? I am doing awesome. I've had a, an amazing day so far. It's been super busy. I'm actually at Whole Foods about to do some uh, training for some uh, health professionals here. So right after this, that's what I'm doing. So he hence the headphones and the remoteness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got the green screen background, so it looks perfect. Perfect, even... <laughs> perfect. Just put a beach behind me or something. I'm up here in Canada, so. <laughs> I love it. Well, listen, for those uh, of you that are just tuning in, I want to introduce you to Brett. So Brett um, has an amazing background, and I've enjoyed getting to know him. He's so, um, he, he communicates so well, and he's so full of knowledge. He is a functional medicine practitioner and a clinical nutritionist. So he's gonna bring a lot of insight that's going to add value to you in your overall health and wellness journey. Uh, he's also a field advisory board member for Euphoria Sciences. So he brings a lot of credibility to the table. And he also hosts the Holistic Health Masterclass Podcast. And we'll get into that towards the end of the show today. And we'll, uh, that way we give you an opportunity to be able to plug into Brett on a regular basis. So once again, Brett, thank you so much for joining us. And today, our topic is DNA nutrition. I thought that that would be a great place to start. Mm -hmm. So the first question that I have for you today, Brett, is, you know, the term blind nutrition has been coined by Euphoria. I'd like for you to just kind of talk about what blind nutrition is, if you don't mind. What does that term mean? Right. So uh, the term for me, I mean, and as someone with 15 years of clinical background, you know, uh, the term blind nutrition, I mean, most of us are operating blindly. And what that means is we are essentially guessing what we need. And there are certain things that if I'm eating, um, you know, let's say I'm eating whole foods, uh, greens, powders, and so on, nothing wrong with that. But when it comes to isolating vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and whatnot, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there trying to remedy and cure themselves and heal themselves. Uh, but they're doing it um, based on what other people have said. They're doing it based on blog articles. They're doing it based on what they read or what they think they know. And so what that really means, you know, to sort of pull this together for us is 
we're taking a lot of supplements without really knowing whether we A, need those supplements, or B, whether they're actually doing anything for us. And, um, you know, I've had people that have literally come into my clinic and paid me all kinds of money just to help them decipher what they're taking. You, you know, literally yeah. two shopping bags full of supplements, and they're like, I don't know what I'm doing here. And so that's really what we mean by blind nutrition is throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks. So you mean to tell me that if I'm scrolling through Facebook and a meme tells me something specific about my nutrition that it might not be true? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> so I'm guessing that a lot of our viewers can relate to this, but I know Summer and I um, have a supplement cabinet that is completely full in our kitchen. And it has supplements that, gosh, I mean, I'm embarrassed to admit it, but they probably go back three or four years. And there's mm -hmm. been times where Summer has said to me, Brett, can I just throw this away? And I'm like, no. And I'm not even, I mean, I paid money for that. You know, I'm, so I've got this whole plethora. And every day, you know, we, we kind of reach in and we take what we think we need. But that's the key, right? It's we think. We don't really know. Exactly. Exactly. Well, and, and I, I just want to add to that. I mean, you know, it might seem like nutrition is fairly benign, you know, because we live in a culture where more is better. And, you know, if we can just take more and more and more, well, surely that's a good thing. And, you know, there are many, many things. I'll just give you a couple of examples off the top of my head here. Uh, if you take too much calcium, that can be a really bad thing. Um, that can actually deposit in the tissues of, you know, the tissues of your body, your arteries, your joints, and cause a lot of pain and inflammation. If you take too much vitamin D, that can be a real problem. Too much vitamin A can be a problem. So there is a legitimate concern with taking things that you don't necessarily need, especially when you're taking them at a higher dose. So, you know, that's why I'm so infatuated with this concept of DNA nutrition, the idea that we really are giving your body a voice. So talk to me a little bit about just what is the premise of DNA nutrition and how does it or why, why is it the beginning of the end of blind nutrition, if you will? Well, I think there's, um, you know, let's, to, to back up a couple steps, you know, it's important mm -hmm. to understand what, what DNA really does, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to give you the full, the full spiel here. I'll just give you the cliff notes. But when people think of DNA, they usually think, uh, and genes, right? So DNA and genes, people think of my heritage, my ancestry, um, why I might have um, white skin, black skin, brown skin, pink skin, blue skin, um, eyes, and so on. So we think of our physical traits and the differences between us all, and that's absolutely correct. But w from a health perspective, what genes do is genes control pr all of the processes in our body. So there, there are genes that you know, determine how well we detoxify, how well we control inflammation, how well um, certain hormones work, and the list goes on and on and on. And so what we haven't been able to figure out until now, really, and, and I say now, meaning like the last few years, you know, we haven't really been able to figure out how to improve the functioning of those genes, right? And if you go back to look at medicine, for example, I mean, medicine has been looking for gene, you know, drugs that alter gene um, expression for, for years and years and years. Um, a lot of the drugs that they're developing now are looking at altering gene expression. But what we have now, in terms of what we're doing, we have such powerful technology and information now that we've been able to, A, identify what these genetic glitches are and what these genes are doing, and now we can actually zoom in with targeted nutritional therapy to improve how they function. So can you imagine if I had a gene that said, oh, sorry, you're just not a good detoxifier. Sorry to say, that's just what you were born with. And you never knew that you had that gene, right? So you just went through life and one day you woke up with cancer and you, you realized that you had all kinds of toxicity. You'd be like, how the hell did that happen? I was eating organic food. I was exercising. I was doing all these things. And it's not because of what you were doing. It's because your genes weren't working properly. And so now we actually have a way, and that's exactly what Euphoria does, is we've been able to identify what these are and we're actually able to improve their functioning. So we're not changing the genes, right? That's impossible. We can't change genes, but we can alter how they work and we can improve their outcome. Wow. So talk to me about the process. How does it work? I mean, what, so, so, you know, we're testing SNPs, you know, let's start there. Talk to me a little bit about what we're testing for. Right. So um, again, I encourage you to go back. I did a really great video um, that's got like well over a thousand views now on SNPs. So if you want to deep dive into SNPs, uh, scroll further down in this feed and you'll find it. 
But basically, you know, if you look at your genetic code, um, your, your genetic code is basically like an alphabet, right? So, you know, in the alphabet, you've got 26 letters and you can make up all the words in the English language or any language for that matter. And our DNA coding is much the same, except we have four letters. And so those four letters are paired and they just keep going on and on and on for thousands and thousands and thousands of codes. So a SNP is really an alteration in the code. So let's say I had a code for eyes, right? And my code looks almost identical to your code, except there's a couple of variations, right? So maybe you and I are not a good example because we both have blue eyes, but for someone who had brown eyes, that would be why they had brown eyes. And for someone who had dark gray eyes, that would be their dark gray eyes and so on. So really what we're getting at with SNPs is the more variations there are in that code. So let's come back to our detoxification um, gene, right? If I had the, the code that said, I detoxify at 100%, um, that would be 100%, the code would be perfect. But if I altered that code a little bit, now instead of my, my detoxification being 100%, it might only be functioning at 70%. And if I altered it a little bit more, it might only be functioning at 30%. And that's as crystal clear as I can get it for you, but that's what we're testing. We're actually testing what type of variation do you have for genes that control cholesterol, inflammation, fat metabolism, um, immune system, and so on and so on. So once we're able to identify those, then what we can do is we can say, great. So if your detoxification um, gene or SNP has some kind of, and I don't like to use the word mutation, but I think a lot of people understand what that means, right, when I say mutation. So if we've got this variation here, um, I can then say, whoa, you know what? I've identified from a genetic standpoint that this pathway, your detox pathway, only functions at 30%. So what I can do is I can say, I'm going to add some things in there that have been proven to improve detoxification. And so when we add those in there, we're sort of like... Um, we're, we're, we're helping your genes to work better, right? So it's almost like a crutch or some sort of support, you know, a life jacket if you want, uh, to basically say, hey, you know what? You're working at 30%. Let's add the other 70% in and help you to improve with detoxification. And the list goes on for inflammation, for immunity, for all sorts of other stuff. So hopefully that sort of comes across as, as, um, as clear as I can get it. No, I, I absolutely. So it's fair to say that um, the 18 different SNPs that we're testing here at Euphoria, um, some refer to them as the power SNPs, and they're dialed in specifically. Why do we choose those 18 when there's so many different SNPs that are out there? Well, and that's a great question, you know, because I've had people, they always say that to me. Well, I found a test that tests for 50 times more SNPs, and mm -hmm. I think what's important to understand is scientists have guessed, and I say guessed, um, you know, very correctly, actually, they have guessed that we may have up to 10 million SNPs in the human genome, right? Like that's an astronomical amount of SNPs. But if you think that we're 99% the same and only 1% difference, right? Now all of a sudden you go, well, why would I want to test for 10 million SNPs if only 1% of those actually have any bearing on health and disease? And so what we found is as much as we may, we haven't even identified what those 10 million are, first of all. But let's say hypothetically we do, we might only find that a few dozen of those SNPs actually have A, any kind of research behind them, but B, actually have any bearing on health and disease. So there's no point in testing for SNPs that have no research behind them, that are not actionable, that have no bearing on our health and disease. What's the point of testing them? And I've, I've actually worked with labs like this where we run a test and you get results back and it's sort of like, well, good luck. You know, good, good luck to you. And it's yeah. like, well, dude, you're leaving me hanging here. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do, right? So, um, you know, so that, that's where I think the power of what we're testing here is just invaluable because we're taking 18 SNPs that have a lot of research behind it. We're pairing them with nutraceuticals that have research behind it that have been proven to optimize and improve the way that these SNPs function. And um, we're going to be adding a few more as, as we move forward here. We're definitely going to be adding some more SNPs. But the idea here is not to include 500 SNPs and then download you with a 1,000-page PDF and, you know, a wellness report. Like, it's just not practical. So the 18 SNPs that we've chosen actually cover a wide, wide spectrum in terms of health and wellness and disease. And um, that's going to give you the best bang for your buck and um, have the biggest impact in your health and wellness.
That's awesome. So we're testing 18 different SNPs and, and the simplest way to describe it would be we're, we're looking for genetic dispositions or flaws that are passed down from your mother and father. Is that a fair Basically, way to, to Yeah, okay. I think like the way I look at it is just glitches, right? So genetic glitches, mm -hmm. let's put it that okay. way. Yeah. And so once we get that, that, once we do this test, and by the way, you're doing a, a, a swab test and you're sending that away to the lab. And, and right. the lab is, is HIPAA certified. So it is, it is their you know, policy or privacy policy is protected. I believe that uh, within a matter of 60 days, they have to completely dispose of your information. There's a lot of regulation around how or what a they lot. can do with that information. So um, if you're worried about your information being shared or sold, you never have to worry about that. So we send the test off to the DNA. They're testing these. And then you get a 35-page wellness report that really outlines the results of your test. Right. And there's some lifestyle recommendations in there. And then it also um, gives you an idea of what your customized formulation looks like. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. So in that 35 page PDF, there's obviously some generic stuff where, you know, what are SNPs? What is DNA? Do I need to get retested? So there's some stuff that everyone is going to get. But what you're going to find that's very, very customized is your list. So there's a one page summary of your SNPs. So your genetic glitches. And basically you get a green light if that gene is awesome. And, you, you know, so there's no glitch or no variation. You get a, um, a yellow or amber light if there's one variation. So in other words, mom or dad gave you um, one glitch. Okay, just keep it in lay terms here. And then, of course, you get a red light if both parents gave you a glitch for that particular uh, SNP, right? So that's the summary. So you get a one-page summary. And then what's really cool is um, the genes themselves, the SNPs themselves are broken down. So you get a full page per SNP which basically says, what does the SNP do? What is it involved with? Why is it important? Um, what, how, what dietary measures can help? And then, of course, the nutraceuticals that have been chosen, so the actual nutrients, uh, whether they be isolated nutrients or plant nutrients or whatever, uh, it shows you why we've chosen those. And then there's scientific references next to them, which you'll find at the bottom of the report, that basically says, hey, you know what? We chose green tea extract because it was shown to improve the SNP. And here's a reference to a study down below where um, you can actually, if you want to geek out, you can go and look at that. And then right at the bottom of the report, what you're going to find is you will find your customized nutrition formula. You're actually going to find the ingredient list. You're going to see exactly what blends have been put in for your SNP. And that's basically your unique formula made just for you. That's outstanding. So let's kind of go through the process. So I send my labs away. I get a wellness report back. And by the way, um, when you start with this whole process, you actually get started on what's called pretrition, which is the first 30 days of your nutrition. So you get a DNA kit and inside that box, you get your swab test, you get your first 30 days of pretrition, wonderful ingredients that are targeting inflammation as well as some um, uh, gut health. We all, we, and we're mm -hmm. going to be we're going to be doing some um, future wellness sessions that are focused on just gut health itself and how totally. important it is. Yep. So um, getting your, your, your body in the right place for an absorption stand, uh, place so that when you do get your customized nutrition, you can start taking it. So you take those swabs, you send them off to the lab, uh, you get a wellness report back. 28 days later, your nutrition arrives. Now, before we talk a little bit more about that, I want to just talk about the process of how it's actually created because it's fascinating to me. And so essentially um, what's happening is, is we have software that is proprietary. It's two decades in the making that is analyzing these 18 different SNPs. And then from mm -hmm. there... Um, it goes over to a machine, the only machine in the world, we call it the nutritionator, and a label goes on your bottle. They scan that label, which essentially pulls up your formulation, and it goes through a machine with 24 different hoppers with close to 100 different plant-based, peer-reviewed, non-GMO, vegan-friendly ingredients, and essentially creates your nutrition. The idea is, is that there's close to 400 million possible combinations. No two are the same and yours mm -hmm. is one of them. How fascinating is that, Brett? It's pretty awesome. I got to say, um, you know, one of the things that was my first question when I spoke with Ron Williams, right? I think actually you and I had a conversation uh -huh. with Ron. I remember I was in the airport uh, flying somewhere, I forget. And I got on a call with you guys and I was like, Ron, tell me, this is the first question I have. How do you reconcile the data? Okay, so how do you take 18 SNPs? Each SNP has three possible outcomes. So the variables on just the test alone are pretty astronomical, right? And then you consider trying to pair that with 100 different ingredients. 
like how do you reconcile all the data, right? And that's where the software comes in. So the software, you know, 20 years to write software, I, I would, um, I couldn't do it. Um, <laughs> not just running software. I don't know if I could just sit down and do something for 20 years on the trots. That would just be, a, I would probably get bored. But so it's kudos to the scientists who wrote the software. I mean, 20 years is outstanding. But this is the first, um, the, the first and dare I say the only company that I've seen that's been able to reconcile the data so the SNPs, and then also reconcile what we're, what we're doing with ingredients and pull them into one formulation. So that for me is a total game changer. Um, you know, because here's how most other companies work, right? And I've worked with a lot of other companies with this before I found out about Euphoria, is you'll run, some of them are running 45 SNPs, okay? And so you'll get your 45 SNPs and then it'll say for this SNP, take B6, B12, um, vitamin C and eat lots of protein. And then the SNP right underneath will say, avoid B12, avoid B6, watch your vitamin C <laughs> and eat a low protein diet. And that will just literally run for 45 pages. And most people, uh, I actually stopped running these tests in my practice because my clients would bring them in and they'd be like, hey man, I'm confused, what should I do? And I would look at them and go, I'm also confused. I, I don't know what, I don't know how to reconcile all this because I only have a human brain. I don't know how to do that. And I tried and I did it and I would customize these formulations, but it's an astronomical amount of time. And in addition to being a lot of time, it's also super costly, you know? So um, I hear a little pitter patter in the background <laughs> Yeah, there. sorry, those are, so those are little feet good. running by. <laughs> it's all good. So, um, you know, so when you, when you think about this, like I've done this, I, I've done what Euphoria does in practice and it's, it takes hours hours to figure the stuff out and not just that you're not even 100 percent sure if you're getting it right and then when you do get it right i take it to a compounding pharmacy and literally um my clients have spent hundreds of dollars on a customized formulation so what's really cool about euphoria is we've streamlined the technology so that we can still um produce something that's high quality that's customized that's designer but we can keep the cost down which yeah. is really, really neat. And you're sort of like also maintaining accuracy because you're using software um, versus, um, versus your brain, you know, which can be very inconsistent. Well, and a lot of these DNA tests that are out there, I mean, you could still do the DNA test. They can tell you what you need or don't need or whatever the case might be. But even if you go buy it, you're still buying blind nutrition. You're still buying 100%. supplements that are off the shelf that have an RDA. And it doesn't make sense that Lanice you're watching right now and Burnaby or Maria, that you guys are taking the same recommended daily allowance of these different ingredients that I would take or that Brett would take. And so again, you know, there's a big difference with what we're doing and what else is out there in the, in the well, and, and also to add, to, to add to that, I mean, it's very, I mean, it's impossible. I, I will say that it is impossible to find a formulation off the shelf there. I say even two or three that will not have ingredients in there that you don't need. Okay, so I'm going to say that again. You, it's impossible to find a formulation. So go and run a test. They'll tell you take A, B, C, D, whatever. Go and try and find a formulation that's going to match just yours. You will find A, B, C, and D, but you're probably going to get E, F, G, H, I, J, and K in there as well that you don't need. And so now you're back to square one where you're taking products that have ingredients in there that you don't actually need. And so the way I look at euphoria and what we're doing is this is the ultimate multivitamin and i say vitamin because it's not really just vitamins it's the ulti, uh, ultimate multi-nutrient if you will that's tailored to your genetic makeup so the things that you're taking in there you know that you need because we've identified what those genetic weaknesses are and that's the beauty of it all so those that are watching might ask well when you say nutrition i mean is it like a a meal plan? Do you send me, you know, meals or, or what, what, what is it exactly when we say nutrition? I mean, you know, pills, powders, tell, tell me how the product comes. Mm -hmm. So the product itself, um, the default is actually capsules and um, it, every single product is the same amount. So the overall volume is 225 grams um, and you just take, you know, one scoop a day. So it's a 30 day, it's metered out at 30, 30 servings. Sorry. Um, sorry. It's metered out for 30 days, right? So the product lasts 30 days. But the capsules themselves, you know, a lot of people go, well, 10 capsules, like, holy smokes, that's a lot. And I want to say to you folks out there that are watching right now, if you're into health and wellness and you're taking supplements, there's a lot of you that are taking a lot more than 10 capsules a day, I can tell you that much. And you're still not sure why you're taking them. So 
to me, doing three capsules for breakfast, three capsules for lunch, uh, or sorry, you know, even four for breakfast, three for lunch, three for dinner, it's not really all that much, right? You can get powders, and so the powder doesn't taste too bad. Um, there are some isolated ingredients themselves that usually don't taste too good, but Euphoria has done a pretty good job at um, adding natural flavors to the product so that it's quite palatable. And there's a lot of people, I mean, 40% of the population doesn't like pills or they can't swallow pills. So you've got folks that are a little bit older um, who perhaps don't like swallowing pills. You can opt for a powder form as well, uh, which, uh, again, might just be easier for some folks to take. So as we, as we move towards the, the end of this call, um, and I think we, I mean, we could talk about this topic literally, it sounds like, for totally. hours, because <laughs> there's so many different directions that you can go, and I want to keep the calls, yeah. you know, a little bit tight, yeah. but... Um, the, the last topic that I really want to talk about is just, I, and this is my belief, I believe that we're walking around, most people today are walking around in a state of malnutrition. We don't mm -hmm. get the nutrients that we need from the foods that we eat. Soils are depleted, genetic modifications. And as a result of that, it can show up in so many different ways. And maybe we can do an entire show just on this particular topic. I think topic. so, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but, you know, to me, it just makes sense that when you start to put an abundance of nutrients of this magnitude into someone's body that's dialed in specific to their own DNA, that you're going to get an incredible response. I mean, we might see, you know, malnutrition showing up in a child and behavioral issues, or we might see it, you know, energy or weight gain or all of these different things. And while we don't make claims, we don't make claims on this product at all. You know, the saying is, is that the, the ignorant will make claims while the wise will anticipate what they will do for their body. What's really neat for me, Brett, is, is that, you know, I can go research any one of these individual ingredients. These are not new ingredients that we just no. found and find all kinds of research and conversations that those particular ingredients are focused around certain um, health advantages. And so to me, it's exciting because we're, it, this isn't just a weight loss product or isn't just this. It's an overall health and wellness product. And I'm excited to see all the different testimonials that are coming out in so many different areas. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what's really cool is, um, you know, for, for myself, I, I deal a lot with chronic and complex cases um, in my practice. So I, I don't see people who are just trying to lose a couple pounds or, you know, improve a, a couple blemishes in their skin. I see people that are pretty sick. And over the years, I would always, you know, for a lot of those folks, I would get them to a certain point and then they would just hit the ceiling, you know, and, and it's like no matter what else you do, you can't get any better than that. And that's when I started looking into genetics and the sort of testing, you know, serendipitously came around at the same time. And so once I started running the DNA test, I was like, holy smokes, like this is all the stuff that I didn't know about. And, and, and once I started working on that, then I started to see people break through that ceiling. So I don't want to, you know, you said don't make any claims, right? And I think it's important. I don't want to sit here and say that what we're offering here and what we're involved with is a universal panacea. But what I will say is this is something that no one has really looked at up until now. And if you couple what we're doing with nutrition and euphoria, if you start changing your diet and changing your lifestyle and getting your stress levels down and doing all the other healthy stuff together with what we're doing, that's where the real magic is going to happen. So you're going you know, to really break those ceilings and um, reach your ultimate highest vitality. Uh, I, I think that's a great way of putting it. Well, it's, it's amazing how DNA is advancing everything. I mean, it's, it's all of a sudden become such a relevant conversation, not just with Ancestry. I mean, that's obviously 23andMe and Ancestry.com are there. Yeah, but yeah. I read a quote the other day. And again, disclaimer, we don't make any claims. We don't make any, you know, we don't say this cures anything. But I want to read a quote. And, and the quote was genomic testing. I hope I'm saying that right. Genomic, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, genomic yeah. testing is the future of cancer treatment, according to Dr. Shema Cosme. She's a medical oncologist at the Cancer Treatment Centers of America. That's a powerful statement. Yeah. And, you know, t talk to me about just your thoughts on that. Well, it's not even my thoughts. I mean, I've been watching this unfold. You know, 10 years yeah. ago, I said, hey, we're going to have, we're gonna have um, diet based on DNA. And that's actually an area that I'm looking to sort of further myself in is, is work on food and DNA, which is a very challenging topic. I won't get into it. But yeah. um, I, th I think it's important for people to understand that uh, government organizations, you know, so the NHS, which is the sort of government branch of healthcare, in, it's actually the healthcare system in the, in the UK, uh, they just released, like two months ago, they released what's called PROTECT, which is um, a breast cancer program, 
right? So this is government medical system, right? So this is not our crowd. This is, this is legitimate medicine. They released this Protect, which is a breast cancer um, program. And what are they looking at? They're measuring SNPs. They're looking at your lifestyle. They're looking at your age, whether you smoke, what you eat. And then they're figuring out what the best drugs are to augment your SNPs. Um, there's similar programs going on in the U.S. Uh, there's similar programs going on in Canada. Uh, Google now has actually just a deep learning software where the international community can plug in SNP and DNA data so that we can all learn from that as a, as a global community. So I can tell you right now that this is not going anywhere. I mean, it's not going away. Let's put it that way. You know, the field of genomics and the field of nutrigenomics is front and center with government organizations and, of course, with alternative medicine as well and natural medicine. Uh, so this is just the beginning. I mean, the, the, this is the precipice here. And have we got a perfect? Absolutely not. Um, but I'm excited because we have an opportunity to be ahead of the curve here with euphoria. But we also have this awesome opportunity to help shape and develop where this goes. Uh, so that for me, I mean, that's why I'm excited to be on the board and, and to be able to help contribute to this technology. Outstanding. Well, listen, um, Euphoria Nutrition, the beginning of the end of blind nutrition. Uh, you can get it from, you know, whoever referred you to this particular group. And once again, Brett, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to I want to just say thank you so much for the value that you bring to this community. And for those that would love to plug into you a little bit more and just learn from you on a regular basis, tell them where you can where they can find you on your podcast. Yeah, so um, for a lot of folks, uh, I do have a professional Facebook page. I've got a couple thousand people following me at this point. Um, so I'll throw in a link into the comment section, and I'll also throw a direct link uh, to my podcast. So you guys can check it out. I've only been podcasting for about a year, but I've got some pretty um, diverse topics. Um, I don't like to just talk about how awesome fruits and vegetables are. Um, I like to get into some deeper stuff, some more controversial stuff push the envelope a little bit um, and, you know, to expose people to things that they might never have heard of before, you know, because for me, holistic health and natural medicine is not just about eating right and going to the gym. Um, it is about mind, body and spirit medicine. And for some people, you need spiritual healing. For other people, you need physical healing. For other people, you need to shift your mindset. And so for me, that's what I love doing. I've done it for so many years podcast you know i've got a backlog a back catalog of a year now um but hopefully um, i'm pretty sure that there's something for everyone so i'm going to throw those two links in the comment section and uh, hopefully um, you guys will catch up with me on my facebook page outstanding well for those of you that are watching again this is our very first wellness wednesday we're going to be back next week and we're going to be choosing some fun different topics all kinds of different things you know we might even have to get into the celery craze and the whole uh topic there, Brett. I, know <laughs> I actually that's something just did a podcast we're talking that. about <laughs> you know what we do we, we're doing we're doing celery every morning and so we may have to get into that topic a little bit we may have to get into just all kinds of, you know, inflammation, how it targets the body. And, and so we're going to have some great topics for you each week. Come on back, invite your friends. They have to be added to this community if they want to be able to see these. This is something that is only happening inside the Euphoria Testimonials group. Brett, thank you so much for joining us. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You have an awesome, awesome day. Thank all right. Great much, to be here. Thank you everybody for watching.